Hello, hello, hello. I'm Lynn Browder, and I have a son, Owen, who is 11 and has autism. And I paint with him. Lots of paintings. He helps me paint the backgrounds of our paintings, and then I paint the rest. We work on his fine motor skills uh, using the hand over hand method. So I'm just trying to just kind of um, get a rough sketch here. Um, I have painted a lot of little meesy micey moseys <laughs> um over the years and occasionally they're just they're they're just fun for me to paint um and so um I'm kind of just figuring it out here um so um, wanted to kind of get the proportions somewhat, <laughs> somewhat correct, I suppose. Um, I'm going to put just, um, this little body and some arms and feetsies, and he's kind of looking that way and he's standing that way. Um, and I'm going to put a, um, ch -ch -ch apron on her. I guess I'm making a her. I'm not sure. Um, so that's why I'm going to get the belly done kind of here. Um, and then I'll go back in. I want to put the belly in so it'll start drawing um, so that I can kind of add in the uh, I can't even think <laughs> can't think the apron that's it so I'm going to come back and add a little bit more here and there Oh, I kind of wanted. See, I'm distracted. I'm very, very distracted. It's been a rough. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks. I mean, one thing after another. Let's just say. And today, Owen had a. a it's so hard to say he had a bad day when he had such a good day for so many reasons. But I still had so many hard moments. And that's the thing. It's like it's just, it's, it's so, I don't even know how to think today. Um, he, um, <laughs> oh, he got to go and play in the rain and he had so much fun and up, up until recently rain would cause huge meltdowns for him like incredibly hard huge meltdowns so here we are now um and meltdowns are not what they used to be at all with no rain. I mean, he loves going to um, the rain and he loves being outside um, when it's raining. So he was super excited to go to church and then get to play in the rain. And he did great with that. And he even listened when I said we had been out long enough because um, he was covered in a jacket and, you know, all the things. But, um, I still didn't want to be out there too long when it was raining because um, we are, are a little bit colder right now. So, um, And he handled it all fine. But 
um, it's still like this seriously emotional journey with, with rain for us. And then, um, we came home and he did really well. Um, but just thing after thing kept going on for us. And so, um, went through some emotions and then he was taking a bath and I went to help him get dressed after the bath. And when, um, he got dressed, he had stayed in his room and I went to get coffee, um, or hot tea. Um, and I went to pick up my mug to pour the hot water in and I dropped it. So he did not understand that I had made a mess with glass and he can't step on it. So once that all happened, he was very upset and trying to explain to him that he had to stay in his room while I was picking up the glass. That was virtually impossible and he was so upset. And he had a huge meltdown because of the glass. And, you know, you can't rush picking up glass. You just, there's so much to it. So I um, tried to explain to him that, you know, the, the mud, um, I mean, the glass, I'm still on mud. I'm so tired. We haven't slept very well. We, we we slept better last night, but I'm still tired from all of that as well. Um, so, um, he, um, he wanted to, to step in the kitchen and I kept telling him he couldn't step in the kitchen because of the glass and he doesn't understand that that's dangerous. There's no reason that he you know, comprehends anything of danger like that. Um, so it was strictly just a complete and utter inconvenience to him because he was done with his bath and he wanted to come eat a snack and he wanted to, wanted to, wanted to, wanted to. So I finally, um, got the glass up, but you know, it, it takes a while and I didn't want to miss anything. So by then we had just had, he just, he was, he was done. And, um, you know, it's, uh, my poor, my poor little dude. He just, it was rough. He was having a rough one. So then, um, I at least kind of got him settled down on that and um I realized that I had not let the water out of the tub <laughs> because I had immediately gone to help him um he he's been doing better about putting his clothes on by himself but he was not getting ready to do that or um he was struggling so I walked from the bathroom to his bedroom, not remembering, not thinking that I hadn't let the, wa the water out. So, um, <laughs> I, after I cleaned up the mess that I had made of the, um, glass, I then, um, realized what I had done. And when I went to let the, the water out, he realized that he still could get in the bath, even though it was not technically bath time. So he was fully clothed at this point and he got in the bath and then he started to, um, <laughs> got completely soaked, having the time of his life in the five seconds that he was in there. And then he got out and walked 
with just completely dripping clothes all through the house. <laughs> so, um, it, you know, it was, it was interesting day. <laughs> um, and he was excited. He was having a great time with the water and all of that. That wasn't a problem for him at all. <clears throat> but there we were, you know. So then, um, life just kept happening. Um, <laughs> one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. And, um, finally kind of calmed down, I suppose. Um, and then, um, dinner happened and I'm, I know there was more. I'm just, the day, like I said, <laughs> it was just my poor baby. Um, He's got it where he is not um, able to let go of his days ahead because any small change, any large change, any change throws him into the loop and he can't let go of the days ahead. He can't let go of the fact that he's not going to do something or that something didn't happen. And so it's just, it's, it's, it's hard because he expects something and then here we are, it not happening. So that threw him off as well. And then he's got a very busy week ahead. And a lot of times I don't always tell him, but he usually only has appointments on Mondays and Thursdays. Well, this week he has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and nothing on Friday. Um, so he's got two extra days of appointments. And even though they are places that he wants to go, he's got a dentist appointment and a different sensory therapy kind of appointment. He, he likes going, he wants to go. Um, he likes seeing the people, he likes to do the appointment and all of that, but it's not routine. It's completely out of routine. So as much as he likes it, as much as he wants to go, that is one more little problem, little, little problem and out of routine. So I'm praying and praying and praying that we can kind of just, you know, move through the day, move through the week, move through all of it and that he is able to handle it. Um, but he is definitely, and we had, uh, couple of rain day or snow days um not last week the week before and that threw all of last week off for him and it's thrown that you know the days ahead off for him because he just doesn't understand when things just do not go according to plan his plan the way he wants it and I can't say I don't blame him because mama likes plans too. And it's, you know, it's, it, routine is truly, it is a good thing. It is where it helps our, you know, days and some dropping stuff over here. Hmm. So we are almost done with our little messy mouse, messy mouse, messy mouse. Oh, messy mouse.
doesn't technically matter where anything really is because, you know, it's like an apron, so it is kind of spun around and, you know, has apron-y things on it, food, um, or whatever, <laughs> whatever it may or may not be there. So, I think that's it. I think we're, or at least close to, close to the moment here. Mm. And, just gonna add a little more, kind of, details up here. This brush has got these, like, extra bristles hanging out, and, um, I probably should not continue to use this, but here we are. I have a tiny shake, just ever so slightly I shake, and um, it doesn't help when you're trying to do tiny little things, <laughs> so, but there we go, so we got O for Owen, and then O. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.